All right. So I won't hear us until three minutes. Are we good now? You know, they, they'll hear us now. Oh, cool. Well, then let's do this. Let's get this freaking stream underway, baby. Uh, all right. Well, welcome everybody then to Overwatch Team White versus either. Uh, what was it? I think it's Cornell, Cornell College JV. Cornell? Cornell, okay, Cornell College JV. So this is welcome to you. You and I, White versus Cornell College JV. I am Wildcat, aka Ryder, and I'm here with Joe. Let's go. It, it just, just Joe. Just uh, Joe. <laughs> I'm excited to get into some Overwatch this week. We got a new season. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's we we get a newish, newish Sombra. Um, do you know about her changes? Yeah, I vaguely know about them. I saw when they first announced it, but I actually haven't seen them in action in game yet. Um, but I am interested to see how it's going to affect, because it, from what I understand, it's mostly a, a damage ability, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. It just does damage over time? Yeah. Yeah, I'll explain it in a sec, but uh, before right, I cool. do, um, I do want to direct everybody who's listening to our merch. Uh, right. So if everybody interested in merch, watching, if you want some merch, you can scroll down and click the link. It takes you to esportsgear.com slash collection slash University of Northern Iowa. Uh, there's jerseys, there's shirts, there's sweatpants, there's beanies. Um, and with the Christmas season coming around the corner, it makes a great gift to someone or a gamer that you know. Um, it's true. My favorite part is that you can mess with the, like you can do your own custom nicknames on the jerseys. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Dang right. But uh, yeah, so the Sombra changes. So she gets, I call it pocket sand. Have you ever seen King of the Hill? <laughs> pocket sand, okay, yeah. Uh, basically, one of her abilities is like a little 100 damage virus she sends onto people. And oh. if she hacks them, it makes the 100 damage. It's a damage over time, over like four seconds. But if she hacks them, it does it over like two seconds. Oh, okay. Her gun gets less spread. Uh,. And her invisibility is not a button anymore. It's a passive. So mm, it just goes off. Really? It can. Well, that's yeah. wait. It just goes off? Yeah. So if you get too close to people, uh, you get like a, you get revealed. You can see how close you okay, can get. Yeah. Kind of like a Lucio circle. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I haven't played Overwatch in a while. So I have to hop in and check those changes out. But um, it looks like we're getting underway here with the first match here on uh, Lijong Tower. Mm -hmm. Which I think is what I don't think that's what they started with last week, but actually, well, this is white team. I haven't casted for white team yet uh, this year, so I also have not casted for white team. Yet. Yeah, so well, this will be interesting to see. Uh, we got here on the the white team coming out with accident on the tank, uh, Clarkster on the damage, Mister Sir Claps also on damage, Coonrad on support, and Boogster on also on support. Mm -hmm. so this uh... is the you and I white roster. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting. Both teams have that Lucio uh, Bastion, not Bastion, BAP. Uh, BAP yeah, yeah. I think that's interesting. I'm excited yeah, to see what comes pretty, out of it. Pretty even in uh, supports as well as tank. Both playing Sigma. So and we see you and I taking the high ground here. Yeah, they're gonna take White Room. I think that's a good mm -hmm. pick. Very good uh, starting position, on, especially on this point on Lejong. I see them taking pot shots. Although Cornell does have the uh, the point, and if it, they're able to capture it before it unlocks, they're gonna get a few percent a few ticks of percent here which looks like they just might yeah you see it no eliminations yet oh the rocks it. flying <laughs> back and forth <laughs> the double sigma both rocking mm -hmm. too crazy yet just seeing some pot shots oh accident taking a tick of damage there yeah you and i white almost took out bab on Cornell and almost took out Sojourn, but they were not quite able to get it. See that 25 percent. The first pick finally goes out. Funky Boy taking out Clarkster for you and I. And uh, that's another Kunad? pick for Cornell. Mm, Kunad responding by taking out Funky Boy. You and I is down in terms of people here, but they do have both their supports. Did you see the window go out from you and I? And a beat from. Side of Cornell, that's a big uh, ult to be using. Is yeah, I think I think I think they're gonna find out they maybe used that a little bit too early. You and I, I seem to have gotten the tempo good. here, and they're pushing Cornell off the point. That's pretty good for you and I. So might cap here as we also see the Bastion ult come out from the side of you and I. 
Doesn't manage to find any picks, but does take out the uh, the Baptiste Immortality Field. Not a whole lot of picks flying so far, I'll be honest. Although we do see Kunrad taking out Val... What is that? Valdis? Valdis. Yeah, that's... Taking out Clarkster. Kunrad also taking out Mew in response. Kunrad taking out Mew is huge there because she was mm -hmm. like into was her... Awesome. Yeah. Oh, so you see two more picks from uh, Nimaja and Boogster taking out Jasper Eye. Jasper Eye responding by taking out Kunrad with the trap from the grave kill there. All right, so a good cap by you and I, White. I think they're going to have to push up a little bit if they can, but they're going to have mm -hmm. a little bit of a challenge here because they did let um, Cornell uh, get to 70%. So if they do lose this point, it might be game for them. And they are losing the point. They're going to have to fight back on, and it's going to be tricky. Ooh. Did you see Cornell taking that point? Yeah, and so you and I, White's going to just do a little bit of a regroup right here. It's interesting, we don't see you, um, Cornell, push them back to those doors there. Yeah, that's definitely the place to set up on this point, so it's interesting they're going to be holding on to point here. But with it being so close to the end of the round here, that actually might not be the worst decision. We'll see if it pays out for them, though, as we see the signal ult come out from you and I. Ooh, the the tire. also coming out from Cornell. Doesn't manage to find any picks. Window coming out from you and I. A lot of ults flying as we wind down here. End of this first round. The signal ult coming out from Cornell. A few picks going out, me being taken down, as well as Clarkster. Both teams have one player down. Mr. Hmm. Sirklops finding another pick on Funky Boy 86. That's going to be a huge pick for you and I as they manage to take out one of their supports. That is Cornell big. And it was big enough for them to get the out. point here. Yeah. Very solid push from you and I, especially the, the pressure again. there. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be seeing a whole lot of that tonight. I think it's but so honestly, funny. I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, Cornell's regrouping here, ready to initiate another push. Mr. Sir Claps using that Bastion ult, pushing back Cornell a little bit, and catching Sigma out there. We'll see if they get him. Not quite able to right. get the pick on that Sigma. Ooh. See another Junkrat trying to, to flank uh, Boogster here. As Funky Boy takes out Coonrad. Nima, oh wait, how do you say the person's name? Nimaja? <laughs> I'll look here after this round, but... Uh, like that's a Cornell Nimaja. person, I don't know. I think okay, it's yeah, Nimaja. Yeah. Ah, Nimaja. So they do take out a few of you and I's players here. Mew taking out Accident. Another big pick for uh, Cornell. As uh, you and I's tank goes down, and it looks like it might work out with them taking the first round here, and it does. It's unfortunate for you and I. I think the next round they might need to lock it in a little bit, maybe get a pick a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. I'd agree with that. There was a lot of just kind of static action during that. Where At the start? Two teams, yeah, just two yeah. teams kind of shooting into each other, not really making any massive moves, which is fine. But after a certain point, you kind of just have to, you know, at least try some sort of flank, try and take a pick out early. And if it doesn't and work, it doesn't work, but it's better than just sitting there and letting the, the clock tick down for a while. Yeah, and now that I think this one's called market, I can't remember. But uh, this this is a good point for Symmetra to la uh, TP mm -hmm. the team in, and we're gonna see that Cornell JV is doing that. But you and I is choosing not to. They're going with the Orisa and Bastion comp. Ooh, They're gonna yeah. be dealing a lot of damage. Uh, it looks like so did Cornell go with the Orisa and Bastion. Ooh. But you know, we see Cornell doing that TP on the point strat, and you and I is gonna have to fight their way on the point yeah. here. Yeah, interesting that they also did not pick that up, but with such a front-heavy comp here with the Bastion as well as the the Torb here, mm -hmm. with his uh, little shotgun get the uh, scatter gun thing, they definitely uh, they, play a very close range. Uh, they did just nerf here. Torbjorn's fire rate just a little bit. Really? Yeah, I think they. Yeah, I could be. I don't think I'm. Ooh. I think I'm right. I'm pretty sure they just made him shoot just a little bit slower uh, on his left click. Oh, okay, that's fair, that's fair. We see Mr. Sir Clips take out the other Bastion with uh, Mew. That's going to be a big hit for you and I, so if we're going to be able to push on it. They got to try. Mm-hmm. Because once that Bastion gets back, things are going to get a lot more difficult. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we see Ooh, Cornell use their lamp, and we see you and I use their window. Ooh, a lot of ults coming out from Ooh, you and I. Accident. Sure taking out Funky Boy. But accident does go down, as well as Mr. Sir Clips and Coonrad for the side of you and I. Bookster responding by taking out Mew. Although Jasper Die does take out Clarkster, and that's going to be a hold for Cornell. Yeah, it turned into a Lucio 1v1 at the end there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that was a very solid push from you and I, I would say. I, I think they definitely know what they need to do here. They do have some ults to work with, but unfortunately so do Cornell JV. Mm -hmm. 
it's true. That um, Symmetra wall is gonna be a pain. Oh. See a window coming out from Cornell. Clark's are taking out Funky Boy right after using that window. Funky Boy does go down. And not in a great spot for Cornell, as they're gonna be forced to push back here. Although Bastion does take out Clarkster. It's gonna be four to four, four both sides. Mr. Circlips taking out uh, Valdis. Accident taking out Mew and Nemaha. And Mr. Clips cleaning up Jasper died. Dang. Very solid push. Yeah, good there job. You go. <laughs> Didn't use too, too many alts there. Just the uh, Lucio and the uh, Bastion. And they still have a uh, Risa Torger in the top, so. Definitely going to be holding good ults to be uh, holding up this choke here, and it looks like that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that you and I is holding this choke. That's Ooh. really smart. Although, someone is back capping right now. I mm -hmm. don't know who yeah. it is. You gotta go. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Sim and Bastion, and looks like Lucio. Yeah, a lot of... I think everybody except their tank, because their tank did go down there. Oh, Using man. Alt. Bookster goes down from Funky Boy. Are you taking out Accident? That's a big pick for uh, Cornell as uh, you and I's tank go down, as they do manage to clean up Mr. Sir Clips and Clarkster, Mew and Jasper, I'd respectively taken out those kills. It looks like unless Bookster can get the touch right now, that looks like it's going to be game one for Cornell JV. He's trying so he hard, he's, he got the rollouts, oh, he's in, Lucio. but unfortunately Bastion with the turret for him. I don't know if they're going to be able to hang on there, and okay. oh, barely! <laughs> Accident was able to get in, he's touching. Oh, oh, they're hanging on by a thread here, they are on a lifeline. And looks like Cornell is going to take that round. I didn't want to say anything in case I, I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> Cornell does take round one here of the series. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think you and I definitely, uh, definitely got uh, started to kind of get a little warmer there near the uh, in the second round. They definitely were playing a lot more aggressive. Yeah, they were, especially here on this play. Yeah. I think that'll work out for them. I think I think that if they are just aggressive and they take out, like, um, for instance, those sim balls, I don't mm -hmm. think they got taken out as fast as they maybe should have been. But I think if they get aggressive and they make those important decisions like that a little bit faster, they can roll these guys. Oh, for sure, for sure. I think so. I think targeting and just quick decision making is definitely going to be the the keys to success here in this uh, series. But as we move on from Lijong Tower here, we're going to be moving on to. Ooh, I think payload. Hybrid, excuse me. That's what it is. Uh, we'll see if we're, what you and I is going to pick here. I imagine they'll probably pick... Oh, Pariso. Pariso, maybe. That is my my prediction for that. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know what... Uh, I bet they'll pick I mean, Circuit Royale. Circuit Royale. It's, is that a hybrid? Yeah. Whoa. No, it's not. I'm wrong. My bad. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um... Sorry, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, as I said earlier, this is uh, both of our first times watching white teams. I, I don't know what their uh, their main like map strengths are here. I'd imagine they're pretty similar to the other uh, two you and I teams, as they are all coached by the same people. Um, but honestly, I don't know. Maybe they have different uh, strengths than, than the purple and gold team. We, you never know. So they're for sure going to a hybrid map, right? I think so. Yeah, I think I saw okay. in chat they said something about hybrid. I'm pretty sure. I guess this is a good time to check... I was going to check that pronunciation of of this, and yeah, okay, so Cornell's tank is named uh, Nimaha, that's how you say it, oh. Nimaha. That is good to know. I probably should have checked this beforehand, but <laughs> fair enough. Um, I guess while we're just kind of sitting here right now, what a... Uh... I guess what are you kind of looking to see here in this next uh, game going in here to hybrid? Well, I think that you and I, White, needs to put some respect on, or I should say, should focus the enemy healers a little bit more, mm -hmm. maybe their DPS a little bit more. I think, I can't remember who was playing Torbjorn, but I don't know how much value you and I, White, were getting out of that. I feel like maybe yeah. they could switch that up. That's fair. Uh, I think the Bastion pick was great, and I think the Orisa pick was pretty good too. Um, I think maybe they could get like a Kiriko that could work with those two a little bit more than say Bap, or I mean Bap works with them pretty well because he's got the window, but uh, I don't know how well Lucio, because I, I play a lot of Lucio, I don't think he mm -hmm. works with them as yeah, well. Yeah. That's fair. Um, and I think, honestly, I, th I feel like you and I, Whites, I feel like the Bookster could 
could afford to be a little bit more aggressive on the Lucio mm -hmm. and kind of look for those picks. He does have to watch out for those sim balls. They they were getting him in that last round. Yeah, that is kind of a, a tough thing as a Lucio player, being your having your main strength be kind of just going up to jump all over the place and all, and just not being able to get hit, and then having a sim on the other team whose turrets can just auto aim onto you. It kind of takes away a big part of the Lucio kit is just being able to avoid just being kind of a nuisance. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, but I, I definitely agree with the uh, the Baptiste. Definitely could be a little elevated. I'd like to see some better placed windows personally, because I mean from both sides too. My the main one that sticks out from, to me actually was a uh, was Cornell's um, window there on the on the second round. Where it was just on the other side of the wall, and they had to back out back to the point, and they didn't get any uh, value out of it. So just being able to to place those windows in chokes more specifically, I think is definitely going to be a big um, improvement for the Baptiste gameplay coming out here. And also, I kind of just want to see the new Sombra kit. I mean, why not? <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, we saw a little bit of Sombra at the end there from... Um... Okay, so it's going to be Blizzard World, which oh, is an interesting okay. choice. Um, but we yeah. saw a little bit of Sombra from... Uh, Cor I can't I remember this ever. It's Cornell College JV. Uh... <laughs> And um, so I haven't played her. I've only played her like once. I actually played her mm -hmm. once like half an hour ago. Oh, nice, nice. New Sombra. And uh, she she definitely does like more upfront damage than old Sombra. Mm -hmm. But she also has to play around her team a lot more. Like she can't. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't able to bring up that her her teleporter, her translocator, before it was like a, you place it and you leave it and forget about it until you need it kind of thing. But now yeah, it's... Yeah. It is, it's it's like a Genji dash where you have to use it when you have to use it, like like when you press it, you use it. Uh, okay. So you you definitely have to play around your team a lot more, but she does put out like a lot more damage than she did before. Yeah. Okay. I definitely think that could kind of warm itself into this uh, this comp here, as we do see a lot of definitely a lot of uh, what's the word uh, rush comp kind of frontline damage with the the Bastion Arisa. I feel like Sombra definitely could fit in there, especially with her alt being pairing so well with Arisa. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it come out. All right, as we get into the second game of the series here on Blizzard World, I do believe Yuna is defending. Yeah, they're defending for the first round here. Interested to see how this plays out. I don't think I've seen any uh, any uh, Blizzard World in NECC for Yuna yet. Uh, at least for the games that that we've casted, I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure about some of the other uh, casters if they've seen some Blizzard World, but this is my first time seeing it, so I do like some. I do like some Blizzard World every once in a while. <laughs> uh yeah. So I love this map. I feel like um, <laughs> I, I said it was interesting though because uh, the first there's some interesting like difficult chokes. So the first mm. the first point here that is a tough choke if you don't if you're not able to bite, break through. Um, yeah. And then literally right after the first point is another choke at that door. That's true. So that might be kind of tough. Um, but you and I, I think they've realized that and they are starting on the defense. So interesting. Kind of a, a double, I guess not entirely double sniper, but Ash Widow. Mm. Yeah, I think it's interesting. interesting. Um, so yeah. If Clark's like able that. to land his shots, it could be quite a bit of value for you and I. I think so, yeah. And Mr. Sir Claps only needs to get like one or two picks to get value, so I think it could work. Especially with the Boogster on Ilari, they can put out a lot of damage. Mm, they've got a very very solid long range uh, comp going here. We'll have to see if it pays out, which honestly, good choice. This this uh, choke is pretty long range, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. if, I were, if I were Mr. Sir Claps, um, I don't know. I'm not a widow player, so I can't say for sure. But I might yeah, sit yeah. back on point. There's a there's an angle you can see like all the way down here. Do you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Kind of. I think so. The the elevated the part side. on the back of this point on the cap. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. About. But um, getting out into the start of this game here, there's not really any picks so far. It's just both teams kind of shooting at each other. We see mm -hmm. Cornell, JV pushing you and I off the yeah. high ground, which is a good good play, but. We'll see if they're able to make something out of it, because they are going to have to walk into a tight hallway here. Yeah, that is a an interesting play, but it looks like it does work out. Mr. Strickclaps does manage to find that pick with Funky Boy on the other team. Cornell is down a player. It's that is massive. Support. That's going to yeah. be big, yeah. 
Heavens. All right. I might stall out Camille's uh, push here. It's just her collapse. Just... Needs to get onto the environment next to him on his left. He needs to get on top. Mm -hmm. Just by taking out Boogster. That's another support down for uh, you and I. Oh, as Mr. Sir Clops does go down from Nimaha's uh, rock there, Jasper I taking out Clarkster. Though Cornell did use their uh, their beat there, but it looks like it actually did pay off quite a bit for them, as it looks like they are going to take this first point here on uh, Blizzard World. Fair enough. As we see Mr. Sir Clops switching off the Widowmaker to Soldier, which I do think is a good switch, as once you've kind of done holding there, it is good to play somebody who's a bit more... Uh, frontline heavy, and I think Soldier's a good option for that. Mm -hmm. So, um, as Cardell JV's got a push through here, this is the next choke I was talking about is this doorway, and I was hoping that you and I White would do a little bit more to, like, stop them from just walking yeah. through, but it looks like they're just gonna let them walk through and look for a fight on the high ground here. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we'll see, though. This, this whole area is really hard to attack from, so you and I White does have a solid chance to get a pick or get some picks and stop them here. He does go down for from Mr. Sir Clips's, uh grenade there. So we want to support or, uh, one damage down for you and I as we see the Bastion ult come out from Cornell. Doesn't manage oh. to find anybody quite yet. Does take out Clarkster. With another damage down for you and I, although the soldier, Mr. Sir Clips, is back. As we see the window come out for, for you and I. He takes out Boogster. Another support down for you and I. You see the Sigma ult come out. Mr. Sir Clops taking out Valdis. Me taking out Coonrad. An accident taking out both Jasperdite and Nimaha. Two picks for you and I. That might oh, be... Oh, the universe is the singing for year. him. <laughs> the universe is singing. Get the Bastion. He takes out Mr. Sir Clops. The Bastion is... Oh, there he goes. Accident is tearing it up right now. right now on the Sigma. Accident is killing it for sure. And I definitely it. think you saved that, uh, that team fight there with that ult. That was a very solid ult. Yeah, it was. And um, both DPS for you and I White do have their ults up ready to fight here. Soldier and BAP on the other side, however, do have their ults together. That could be powerful, except the only mm. issue is that Soldier76 likes to be able to not be constricted at one spot for that window to ult. Yeah, so we'll see what true. happens. I think they're going to. I think you and I White's going to bob here pretty soon. I wouldn't be uh, surprised as okay. we see the beat come out from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little premature, think, but. It does manage to get their them to push down here as we see the Alaru come out. Oh, it's I. definitely premature. Yeah, they're getting punished hard for it. Well played, you and I, White. That is an ace team kill. A clean team kill from you and I with the Alarian soldier ult. Yeah, that was definitely a, a beat came out a little too early. I would yeah, say. That, was, that was well played by you and I, White. Recognizing that mistake by Baldus on the Lucio, they just said, You use beat, we're going to use our ult right after your shield dies or your overhealth. Definitely able to recognize that in that combo. That is exactly what you need to do. You see, if we know, there's my trigger on the high ground. There's the you soldier come out. As well as the visor. There's the window visor. Yep, taking out Boogster and Clarkster. Right now it is a 3v5. In favor of yes. Cornell. So, Unite does have the quick spawn though. Let's see if they'll be able to get back here in time. As we do see, Accident has his uh, ult again. Based on that last team fight, I wouldn't be surprised if he manages to bring it back as we see Kunrad take out Mew. Accident does go down from Jasper died. Valdus takes out Kunrad. Cornell so does get the checkpoint. Unfortunate, Jasper died also cleaning up Mr. Sir Clips there as you and I is going to be forced to regroup here. A super unfortunate that um, Soldier and Bap window combo uh, took out Clark's so fast that he could, was not able to use his bob and turn that fight there. I think that's what you and I White were counting on. Yeah. I'd agree with that. However, game is not over and we are at yet another checkpoint or choke point here on on Blizzard World. That's why I like this map, uh, at least defending on it, because there's so, so uh, many checkpoints. This this point on defense is Ooh. hard to attack on. It's very good for defenders. It's just so tight. You see Nima and Nima taking out Coonrad, Jasper taking out Clarkster's Bob, and Nimaha taking out Mr. Sir Clubs. That's a two-piece from uh, Nimaha. As his support and damage goes down for you and I. If you're taking out Clarkster, both damage are, damages are down for you and I. As you see, Accident gets pretty low here. He's doing everything he can, but he is getting he is so low on health. He's going for the, 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 the ult. Yeah. Oh. He gets a couple. He's not able to find any picks off of it, though. There's the bap window from Cornell. 
Oh, Cindy Maha and Jasper died taking out Boogster and Coonrad. Funky Boy and Nima taking out Accident Mr. Shiklips. And this might be game. That is going to be the first round a Cornell win here on Blizzard World. Score. Zero. Woo. Damn. Yeah, that was a pretty intense one, I won't lie. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think both the teams are a lot more warm than they were that first game on uh on uh Li Zhang. That was some there were some very good plays in there. Oh yeah, when they when you and I took White Room mm -hmm. and they were yeah. <laughs> sent up there. Yeah. yeah. But that was some good uh that was some good Sigma gameplay from accident. And also that um that being able to hop on that Lucio beat earlier on that second point. Yeah, I think they use it way too early. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I, I feel like um, whoever made that call, really great job on you and I, White. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a little bit more, um, the DPS need to play around accident a little bit. He is kind of keeping everything together at the moment for yeah. you and I, White. I um, and it's not that they're not playing around him. I just mean like, don't go past him. We yeah. Like yeah. Let him take the damage because the healers are able to keep him alive. He keeps going really low, but he keeps staying alive. So props mm -hmm. to you and I, White's healers. That's a very good job, Kunar and Boogster. We do see them come out on the the Baptiste Lucio. Also, I was gonna say this: we got a somber, the somber player here. Ooh. Mr. Circle, let's find some sombra. My prayers have been answered, I guess. <laughs> Glad to see. Uh, we'll see this new somber kit because this is my first time actual actually seeing gameplay of it. So. Well, I'm pretty intrigued. Let's see how this uh, pans out. You see uh, Cornell holding the high ground on this first choke point, just like you and I. And I think, honestly, similarly to what Cornell did before, taking that high ground as soon as possible is going to be a must here on this uh, this first choke, as Mew does take out Clarkster there. We're going to see Mr. Sir Claps trying to get in, trying to be stealthy. Mm -hmm. I do think Sombra... It's definitely, I mean, it's like we said earlier, uh, flanking is going to be a big thing in this uh, series, I feel like. Being able to just target people and take them out uh, as soon as you can and not just sit and just kind of take pot shots at each other. Yeah. I think Sombra is going to be good at initiating that. Do you see, you see Clarkster responding? I was about to say, yeah, they should really look for that Bastion. Him. Yeah. And they, they got the Bastion. They should look for another pick or push up here, but they are not able to. They lose their own Bastion and it is a 4v4. Bastion's down. It's gonna go right away. We'll have to see how it pans out. As we do see come out from Cornell. Although somebody oh. called a hack from Mr. Sir Claps as we see the B come out from you and I. Amazing He's hack. He's gonna be forced to retreat. That was a very solid ult cancel. Yeah, awesome to see Kunrad taking out Funky Boy. As we do see the Life Weaver ult come out from Cornell. You and I is doing a great job just walking up to the point right now, getting that space mm -hmm. and just going forward, but they do need to find a pick. Okay, so oh, Ace Accident does out? use his ult. He finds at least one pick. He's managed to pick up a few people. Get them pretty low. Mr. Shirtclap's taking out Nihima and Mew, although Jasperite does take out Clarkster. I this think you and like... I has the advantage here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flies off the map. Oh my god, his own terms. He thought he had, I think he thought he had a little bit more room and was just trying to dodge the Sombra. <laughs> I respect it though. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. That Accident. is going to be you and I taking this one. Yeah, so we see Sombra on the high ground right now, kind of messing around looking for a pick while Accident does make space for his team. I think he needs to walk forward a little bit while Sombra is up there. I don't think he needs to fall mm -hmm. this far back at the moment. Definitely don't want to get caught in this point. In this but that's true. Team. Yeah, this, this could be a really bad place for you and I to stagger because if they do, um, all uh cornell has to do is push up and hold that choke but it looks yeah. like you and i is doing a great job keeping it together and not staggering and not getting caught here but the clarkster is taking a lot of damage Ooh. he stays alive there's the hold on mr shakeup's taking out funky boy and honestly I, yeah oh clarkster does ooh. go down from you it's a 4v4 but one team does not have a support i think this is in you and i's favor right now I do Double so. rock. <laughs> i love to see it let's go the circles does take out mew Cornell's uh, Bastion is down. That's going to be a big pick as their oh. Bastion has been putting in quite a bit of work. Mr. Shirklips also taking out Nihama, another huge pick for you and I as Cornell's tank goes down, as well as Mr. Shirklips taking out Jasper Dye. Mr. Shirklips is shift. doing a great job working with Accident right now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
the, the flanks are definitely working out for them. And with uh, Axum being able to push all the way up and kind of pressure them, honestly, I think Cornell's kind of panicking here. Yeah, they, they are. Kinda, they are. kind of rolling here. <laughs> They're super rolling staggered. The Look at their team. team is all spread apart right now. Oh, my goodness. If you and I can get a pick here, that's huge. They do find a pick. They're just going to keep staggering uh, Cornell. This is really big for you and I. <laughs> oh, the rock. Oh, get him, get him. to go down, it looks like. Possibly. <laughs> Not quite. It's a uh, life pick out of there. As we do see the ult come out from Cornell. Oh, He's the Lucio ult. The, the so booster well, saved everybody. Game. Solid. J that was a very big ult, actually. Oh, oh, an accident replies with his own ult. Mm, isn't like to find any picks. Not yet. Oh, Mew does take out Ooh. three of you and I white. That's big for Cornell, unfortunately. Four. Oh man, four. Jeez, Mew is cooking. All right. Let's <laughs> uh, regroup in. I can respect that. Honestly, I really thought you and I was going to take that. I mean, the the EMP plus plus Sigma ult there. That was definitely a solid uh, ult ult kind of concoction there. I guess would be the word. Yeah, I missed what saved I them. I uh, I honestly don't know. I thought they were gonna get the pick there. I mean, maybe the, the life fever or like that, like immortality field. Yeah. I don't okay, know. so Mr. Sir Claps finds the pick on Mew. That's pretty huge. That does let Sigma accident just walk straight up. They take out the ammo field. Accident trying to buy space for his team. It's working. Mr. Sir Claps is up there with him. Coonrad takes out Funky Boy. Yeah, and Bastion Alt inside of Cornell, I believe. Yep. Does not manage to find any picks? You might take another Clark's there. Down. Ooh, oh, accident Azima goes down. Also takes down and I think that's going to be the role that Cornell needs there. Yeah, with the accident down, that's going to be a, a team kill for Cornell. Going into this next fight here, Cornell's going to have basically four ults to be working with. Yeah. That's going to be tough for you and I, White. See if it works out here. We have a Bastion and Baptiste ult for the side of you and I. Not too bad, but none, neither of those are great for initiating. Get him going, kind of driving deep into the heart of uh, Cornell's backline there. <laughs> Both Sigma's looking at each other with the. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember what that ability is called. It's like black hole. Uh, or the, yeah, 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 the kinetic grasp, I believe, is what it is. Oh, accident does take out Niema. Big pick as Cornell's tank does go down. Ooh, take that you and I White Let getting a second it. pick, a third pick. Ooh, this is huge this for you and I White. They can push. Needs. They're burning the tree as a team. Good play. Awesome. They take out the that. Life Weaver. It's just the soldier right now. Just take him out. Walk the card in. Mr. Knapp's taking him down. I think you and I White needs to walk up to Ooh. the doors. Okay, an oh, amazing oh. ult by Boogster saving his a team with the beat. But unfortunately, the window's coming out and they Holy. do lose the Boogster to the window. There's a lot of ults flying, but I think you and I... Oh, wait, no mind, Cornell does have a visor. Oh, that's right, taking an accident so and Coonrad. As well as Mr. Sir Claps from uh, Nihima. Also, who also takes out Clarkson. Dang, that was a lot of ults flying there. I think... Yeah, there's nobody in the match still has their ult anymore. <laughs> oh. Jeez, I saw at least... I saw both Sigma ults come out there. The Lucio beat Soldier. Mm -hmm. uh, Life we were tree right before that. Who else used their ults? Um, I think that was all of them. Uh, Bap window at some point from yeah, the uh, Bap yeah, window. A lot of ults flying. Gosh, Cardell yeah. JV is finding a lot of utility out of this Bap and Soldier seventy six combo. But it looks like yeah. Mew is going to be using his Bastion ult. So at the start of the fight. Actually, switch to to Ramatra at some point. Oh, although it does go down. Are we taking up Clarkster. Yeah, I honestly I can see the the Ramatra playing uh, working here. We'll see as we get kind of into final fight territory here, but um, Ramatra does manage to kind of... Oh, never mind. Well, he switched to ball. <laughs> never mind. I just want to say what I was going to say. Well, I don't know. They're kind of going for the same vibe of just being able to play a character that can kind of dive into the backline there, although he just switch back to the Sigma. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, I'll fix it. Fair enough. Although, I think this is going to be a uh, last fight here. Yeah, I think so, There's too. 10 seconds left. There's 10 seconds. We're going to have to find somebody on the point that... Down touch otherwise the round is just gonna end they've got three seconds sombra has Two, to get on the point or one. somebody else on you and i white damn Oof. not able to get there in time it's mustang jv wins the second round oh mustang mustang is that not cornell 
Uh, it's not. We've been calling him Cornell the whole time, but it's. Oh wait, really? <laughs> wait. I've been calling him Cornell the whole time, but the thing just said Mustang, JV. Oh, I think it is Morningside. <laughs> Morningside well, Mustangs. Shoot. Um. Whoops, I guess. <laughs> Sorry to Morningside. <laughs> I guess you're going to be Cornell for this game <laughs> for the first two rounds. <laughs> eh, it is what it is. That was the best of us, but I guess blah, 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 morning side. I got to get that word in my mouth now. <laughs> uh, I, I'd honestly, be able to say it easier than Cornell somehow in my head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, but, you know, that was, a, that was a solid match, I think. That was definitely a lot warmer than the first match. Oh, yeah, for sure. Both teams really showed up to that game, and it was, it was pretty I good think to so. watch. That was that was a fun one, um, but yeah, I definitely think that that kind of that last um, not being able to touch there was kind of a heartbreaker for you and I. Um, yeah, but I mean they had to, they still did have to push it all the way even to take that round. So even if they went to overtime, it was still looking a bit grim. Um, but I do think that they definitely had the right idea. I, I think they kind of had the right idea with that Ramacho or even ball, just being able to have something that could kind of um, just stall for as long as they could. Yeah, absolutely, and I feel like the the only way you and I White could have won that one um, is if after they got that all those picks with the Sigma as the first pick, if mm -hmm. if they had like one, uh, probably two or three on cart, and have the other two or three just go to the spawn doors and block that Sigma from getting through. Yeah, um, yeah. because he was able to, and all he needed to do was use his 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 ult. And even if he doesn't get any picks with it, it's it's stopping you and I White from moving and repositioning to to better fighting positions in those last yeah, seconds. Really so that was one. that was really good on the part of uh, Mustang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they definitely they definitely showed up there for the last few minutes of that last round, getting the uh, the defense that they needed to. But I mean, it was like I said earlier that that last point on Blizzard World is just it is very defense. Uh, what's the word? In favor of the defense, I suppose. Um, it is a pretty hard point to attack on just because there's so many, like, I guess they're not all chokes, but like, there's just so many corners and there's so many little places that the defense can set up. It is really hard to push on that. But I, th I definitely think you and I had a very solid, uh, a solid push there for what it was worth. Ugh. We do go into here. Match point on the third round. I believe the next one is push. I think. I always I say think I believe because so. sometimes I get it wrong. But. I, was, I was talking to one of the coaches earlier, and <laughs> apparently the the league they're in, the NECC, still doesn't have Flashpoint configured properly. So I uh, don't know geez. if they're going to be playing that. You were were you casting with me that week? Yeah, when they yeah. did they did redo for Flashpoint. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a little weird. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, eh. Flash, Flashpoint's yeah. Flashpoint. Enough said about that, I guess. <laughs> I'm fine with no flashpoint. Oh, looks like they're doing this. flashpoint. <laughs> and it looks like there's going to be a five minute bathroom break. Mm. Well, we got five minutes to just kind of chill then. Um, I might also run to the bathroom then if they're going to take a break. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I will be right back. All right. Well, well, Ryder, you use the bathroom. Uh, I'm going to remind everybody who is watching that you and I, Panther Esports, does have merch. Um, if you weren't here before, I'm going to talk about it. If you were here before, just ignore me for a minute. So if you scroll down from the stream a little bit and you click that merch button, it'll take you to esportsgear.com backslash collections backslash university dash of dash northern dash Iowa. And here we got jerseys, we got shirts, we got sweatshirts, we got sweatpants, we got beanies, um, all kinds of sports gear, uh, and just apparel. It is, with Christmas time coming around the corner, it could be like the gift for the gamer in your life. So think about that. And also think about uh, these jerseys are like 35.99 and that may seem expensive but i can assure you it is cheaper than any other like jersey for a sports team and you can put your own 
like name on it like your gamer tag or you could put any text that you want on it so definitely a pretty good deal there uh, i was talking to somebody on stream last week and he said that he ordered a jersey for like a hundred some bucks so i think you know 35 bucks is a steal compared to that and especially the fact that you can put your own name on it um but yeah, head over to esportsgear.com slash collection slash University of Northern Iowa if you want to support us. Uh, we'd be really grateful if you did. I have returned. Welcome back. back. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's see what else is there to talk about. I guess we kind of talked about it before, but new season of Overwatch came out this week. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we had that Sombra rework. Yeah, last week, was there anything else? Yeah, so there was also Route 66. They changed a little bit, and last week I was gassing it up, but it wasn't <laughs> actually that good. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, it's just the... I don't know how much you remember that map, but um, when you get to the pay, the first checkpoint with the payload, it's those double doors the, that open, the, let the payload go through, and then they oh, close. Oh, yeah, I think I saw something about that, actually. Yeah, so now... There's two sets of doors, but each set has one door that is open and one door that is closed. So oh, it's weird. it's kind of like a Z shape going through those that choke now. It's so oh, a little okay. bit easier, a little bit easier to go through, but for the most part, the, yeah, for the most part, the map is completely the same. I mean, uh, like they did make the beginning choke point a little bit like wider, and they cleared up some of the junk on the ground. So as far as sight lines are concerned, it's mostly the same, but I mean technically it is different. <laughs> uh, they added a new map that's pretty pretty cool. It's called Samoa. Yeah, Samoa. It's, I did see it's, that. it's it's a King of the Hill, or I guess it's called control, control. map. Okay, yeah. Um I think it's a lot like Oasis. Hmm. Okay. Uh I'm trying to think of the one. I think it's called Universe, not What's not inside? Oh, on there's, Oasis? Yeah, there's basically the map on Oasis that has the big pole in the middle, and the point is basically a circle. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. That it's, one? Yeah, I'm not sure the name of it. It's the one yeah, with the cars one. on the side, right? Yeah, yeah that, that one. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It feels like there is a almost complete copy of that map in really? Samoa. Really? <laughs> yeah. And okay. There is also one that has... It's on like the cliffs next to a beach. Uh, that one's okay. There's okay. a crab. There's crab crossings on that oh, map. There's crab crossings. You see little cute crabs. Oh, I like no that way. one. And then the other one, I don't remember what it's called, but it's in a volcano, I think. What? I don't know really? where it is, but I know half of the map is like literally lava, That's and you're inside of this. It's really cool. Um, yeah. That that yeah. point. That point is really, really cool because in the center of the point, there is like a drop down area that has a bounce pad. Oh, okay. But, That's cool, uh, actually, yeah. I was, I was a little bit disappointed by that one because actually on all three, there's really not like a lot of stuff. And what I mean mm. is like, there's not like, like shops with tables or chairs or decorations. Uh, it's, okay, it's, yeah. it's pretty much like an lifeless. open floor plan yeah lifeless uh, which is a little disappointing it, it's cool though because the spawns inside of the overwatch ships have coconuts for basketballs instead of basketball <laughs> Wait, really that's actually yeah. awesome um, <laughs> that's sick so oh, well, yeah there's yeah i i mean some of those things are fun to play the new season. <laughs> uh, allegedly, yeah. there's going to be a Roadhog rework coming later this season. Yeah, I did see that. Hopefully, that'll actually make him good. <laughs> I can, I can make play Roadhog again. <laughs> I so just game... haven't been able to play him since his new uh, he can't oh, he's, one he's shot borderline. Anymore. He's borderline unplayable. He's pretty bad. It's not great. It's it's kind of. I think it's ridiculous that they've let it go on so long. Like yeah. how bad he is. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, unfortunately, well, I guess not unfortunately, but Flashpoint, you know how it is. <laughs> I don't know. I like some Flashpoint every so often, but we are going here into the, the third round here on the Suravasa, I believe is what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, third point. 
little Flashpoint gaming. As we see, this is match point for, uh, God, I don't want to say uh, Cornell again. It's Morningside, though. Uh, it was match point here for Morningside. If they take this, that will be the end of the series. Uh, as we get underway here, we do see uh, Accident coming out on the D.Va, which is the first time that we've seen him play um, D.Va so far in the series, other than that little bit at the end on uh, Li Zhang to hold the point. But I definitely think D.Va is a good option on, on a map like Servasa with how big it is, being able to have that mobility. Yeah, and I, uh, I think the Boogster coming out of here on Brig is really... It's, it's, it's smart, it's interesting. I am a little disappointed not to see the Lucio, just because as a Lucio player, I feel like he is invaluable on these Flashpoint maps. Having that mobility <laughs> for your team is really good. But, um, yeah, pretty pretty standard so far. They're just kind of, both teams kind of nice ramming each other's faces to each other here. A little bit. Excellent does go down from Jasper. Right, a big pick for Warning Side. Also taking out Coonrad, another big pick as the uh, one of you and I's supports goes down, and looks like they're going to pretty easily swoop in here and take that first point. You know, he's going to be forced to regroup here. So yeah, with Flashpoint, <laughs> the thing is going to tick up a little bit faster, which does mm -hmm. suck for true, true. you and I in situations like this. Yeah. Agree. Although they do have a pretty flank heavy comp here between the Sombra and the Tracer, uh, as well as the Diva being able to play that, that dive. Uh, just kind of touching points. I do feel like we're gonna, they're going to be able to kind of avoid the situation they had on Blizzard World in that last match, and they're going to be able to hold on to overtime when that time comes. As you see you and I starting there, initiating their uh, fight here. Jasper does take out Coonrad, a big pick for them, as you and I support goes down. Leaving just Boogster to heal. Accident does D-Mech. Valid is taking out Clarkster, and Nehema taking out Boogster. And that looks uh, like it's... cleaning up Accident. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the first point for mm -hmm. Westang. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty tough for you and I, but it looks like they're going to be switching up their comp here with Accident, switching off the uh, the D.Va into Orisa, which honestly, yeah, I think that's pretty solid. Being able to kind of have more HP, being able to hold on, because he was kind of getting melted on the D.Va there. Yeah, we do see Boog going to the Lucio. I think that's pretty smart here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely being able to move a lot faster with that... Uh, that AoE uh, speed boost, although Booster does go down from Mew. Mew has been kind of a thorn in the side here for you and I, I feel. Yeah, Mew has been nasty months. on the Bastion all game, or yeah. all, all series. All series, honestly, yeah. Valdis does take out Clarkster. You and I, White, is looking for an angle to push onto the point here. It is tough, because if they go through that little stairway, it is way too cramped in close quarters for everybody mm -hmm. to push through yeah. without dying. It's true. Kuma but they do... Pick up the ult here. Yeah, they do have an Ana ult to work with, and a pulse bomb to work with, so we'll see what you and I White can do with this. But you and I regroup, ready to go back in again. Yeah, it looks like they don't want to commit to a full engage yet. Honestly, fair, fair. Let's see if they can get a nice little, uh, nice little pick here from Mr. Circlips. Maybe get oh, a okay, so beat, another premature beat from uh, Morningside. Yeah, I really hope that's you and I White punish you this. Needs. Okay. Go down. Although Jasper does go down. So no using well that ult. Taking out so Mr. Circlips. Oh. Mew does take out Accent, a big blow to you and I's attack here, and it looks like Clarkster is going to be forced to retreat. Honestly? Yeah, I mean, that's what they needed to do. They they realized that uh, they beat it too early, and they you and I wanted to act on that. And honestly, that push was, they timed it correctly. Oof. It just wasn't in their favor, as Clarkster does go down from Valdis, just kind of chilling out near the edge of the point there. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, I suppose. It's just... <clears throat> A very solid timed push, but they have the signal alts and the and uh, just managed to play those picks. Mr. Clips does take out Jasper I, as we do see accident Ooh. possibly getting a huge pick, although the immortality does go out saving most of morning side. Accident oh, uh, oh, killed himself. Neemar. He killed himself with his balls. Is that what happened? The Sigma balls, yeah. Shoot. Oh shoot. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's going to be, a, I mean, I guess a big pick for you and I. <laughs> he wanted to, <laughs> to take himself out, but they did get uh, him pretty low there. Uh, as you and I does run in and take the point, taking out the uh, rest of the defenders there from Morningside. And look at that, you and I taking the point with 99% for Morningside. All I need to do is hold on here. And honestly, with how fast it's ticking down, I definitely think it's possible. I think they could. As long as Boog hangs on to his ult until the last second. He's been doing a good job so far with mm -hmm. the with the Lucio ult. Hanging on to it. Very good beats. Ooh. The Bastion ult come, come out and does take out Clarkster. Ooh. 
The static though so far, as we see the window come out from Morningside. Me managing to accident a big pick as UI's tank goes down. We see, do see the beat come out from Boogster. Who managed to get pushed back to point as well as the rest of you and I. Mr. Sir comes getting taken out by Jasper died. Boogster oh. holding on to this point for dear life. Damn. <laughs> nice try, Boog. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. As we do see, Morningside does manage to take that second point, leaving just one more point they have to take to take this series. See if they're going to be able to do it as Kinred does jump off the map to regroup. Now, you and I, White, is in a position to be able to get on the point first here and hold mm -hmm. if they're able to. However, they don't have an Ana and they almost Ooh. lost their soldier here, too. Be careful. <laughs> and. No, it's just the Ana that needs to come regroup here. I guess Lucio, too. I don't know where he was at. See the uh, signal get hacked there and then just retreat. Another early B. Yeah, interesting. Looks okay. like they're beating to push on. And it oh, works out excellent. for him. Does go down. Big EMP. Ooh, it's massive like EMP. Oh, oh man. My goodness. <laughs> the Holy. EMP into the Pfizer from Clark. Great job, you and no, I White. They, they secure that point. Holy, I that think, was a beautiful kill kill feed right there. <laughs> yeah, I think you and I White needs to push up. Yep. Just a little bit. They don't need to go too far. Yeah, definitely. But getting some ship damage on Mustang here would be great. That was really good by you and I White. That was insane. It was very flashy, which I respect, although you and I doesn't have any alts after that. They did use three alts there. It worked Accident's, out. Accident's gonna get his Orisa ult really soon here. Okay. Oh, Mr. Circle's taking out Jasper died. A big pick for you. That and is I. Pick, big because he didn't really? have he had his ult ready, and that's no DPS on the side of Mustang, so this push is gonna be really tough. Unless Nimaha is able to get a point get a pick with this. Ooh, Ooh does manage to find two. Three, Dang. Clarkster, Axon, and Mr. Circle going down, just leaving Boogster and Kunrad to defend the point. Can they do it? So Kunrad is retreating, goes down from Funky Boy as Valdez does take out Boogster, forcing you and I to retreat. Although they do get up to 85%. Very good hold. So this is going to be a tough retake for you and I, White. Mm. After that hold, that was a good hold. Uh, but they, they've been having trouble with this. BAP soldier combo all game or all series and they're gonna have to face it one more time here and see if they can beat it if they can't it's gonna be serious Sombra looks for the pick on BAP okay. and they're able to get the BAP and that does take out Funky Boy 86 as you and I does take the high ground here Morning Sign is gonna have a bit of a uphill climb here we'll see if they'll uh, be able to hold on Circles does take out Mew, a big pick, as Mew has been a big thorn in the side of you and I. Mm -hmm. Oh, Conrad hitting the Oh, Lucio we see the Nano, Lucio! Miss, but Lucio Nano, baby, let's go! That <laughs> man works out, you and I got the point, let's go. <laughs> three more, si three more percent, okay, so they got a oh, flash point. Nice. They, I think they Lucio. have to just go backwards now. Oh, as well as the uh, window. Cornell, uh, or not Cornell, uh, Morningside did use their window there as they're forced to retreat. Although you and I did also use their beat probably a little, uh, late there. As they probably could have afforded a few picks, uh, on them since the flashpoint is changing here, but... They might be able to get to it first because of it, and they do, yeah. Maybe it wasn't as, uh, as wasted as I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, uh, Mr. Sir Clips and, uh, Accident both have their ults. A very I deadly think... combo, EMP, uh, EMP Terra Surge. Yeah, I think what we're gonna see, though... I think we're going to see a preemptive beat again from Wildus because he's been doing it all game. I don't imagine. Yeah. Or all series. And I wouldn't imagine he's. more of an initiation. Yeah, we'll see, though. We'll see. The Sigma is looking for it really bad right now. He, there it is. Yep. From Morningside, Jasper. Oh, oh, well big. played, Accident. Absolutely I'm pretty sure amazing. Accident speared oh, did he, him out of it, I think. Oh, I think. I saw the spear. It was either the spear or the hack. Either way, well played, you and I, White. Very uh, good job. Fortunately, it's not going to be enough. That was sick. That was <laughs> honestly big props to you and I. They have been shutting down that Sigma all this entire series almost. They've been doing an incredible job, both on the hacks and the javelin. And I'm trying to think what other uh, sort of CCs they have, but honestly, huge, huge job being able to um, just not let uh, Nihima do what they want to do. <laughs> Oh, looks like Mr. Circlips is looking for the uh, the hack here. Mew does take out Boogster there. Oh. I'm just waiting for the 
opportune time here as we see Coonrad, uh, Clark staring accident, just fighting on the front lines, waiting for that uh, EMP. Doesn't manage to find it. Mr. Chicklets does back up again. Waiting for, uh, Ooh. waiting for, uh, who is it? Uh, got a big booster? Yeah, big booster to get back there. Although Clark sure does go down bot from you. As we're getting near the final fight territory here, Morningside at 82%. You and I, White's gonna have to look for a touch here. They do have Sombra behind. She could get, be the touch that they so need. They have four ults. And okay, they so come. they're gonna boot. They're gonna beat on with the Sombra ult. This could be huge. They Bastion ult goes out, but oh man, you and I, White That's takes out three, Morningside. four yeah. of Morningside, five. five there's there the it team. is. Big team kill. Only, only White. used uh, two ults there too. Yeah, you and I, White needs to push out just a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Looks like uh, it looks like the herd. <laughs> yeah, that does leave you and I with um, a nano visor. Which honestly, I don't know if they communicated that, but honestly, great job being able to be uh, very restrained there, only using beat and uh, EMP, and leaving the two ults that synergize the best uh, for this final fight here. Although Jasper, I'd Valdis, and Mew and Nima kind of roll through here. It looks like they're gonna be able to take point, leaving just uh, damn Kim also goes down. It's going to be a responding team kill for uh, for Morningside as they take the final game of this series and the series as a whole. Some good stuff from you and I, White. Oh, for sure. No, they they played it very good there. I think that was probably their best uh, their best uh, what's the word game there out of these out of the series. They had some crazy plays. That was right an here, insane old. <laughs> Like, oh, look at man. that. Look how fast that kill feed's moving, man. Holy. But yeah, that was um, a very solid series. I definitely think that that they had some crazy... There were some good plays on both sides, for sure. You and I definitely showed up. Uh, after that first Li Zhang, they started kind of realizing what they had to do. Starting switching up their team comps to accommodate uh, the morning side one. As Bill's morning side, managing to... Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to think of the right words here. I've lost it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Morningside, they did a very solid job. They managed to get those uh, those frontline picks uh, right when the uh, matches were or the uh, team fights were starting. There, <laughs> getting those picks as soon as they needed to. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because I just saw Igneous try to type "woot woot," but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. We love. A supportive production team. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta just say real quick, Boog was insane on the Lucio tonight. Well, the sure, accident sure. was crazy on the Sigma in particular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accident definitely definitely was a big part of you and I's uh, team comp there. That's something that you love to say. Um, although that is the, the last match of our series here as you kind of wind down. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose we could do an interview. Mayhaps. We're going to... Where is the white chat? Um, it is gone. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I mean, we could do... We could, I don't know, how are you feeling about an interview? You want to or not? Uh, I'm either way. It's up to you. Mm, I'll add them, see if anybody wants to. Uh, if not, then... We can save it for the next game, which is UNI Purple starting at 8 o'clock, which I believe that'll be on the main channel. Unless we're already on the main channel. Not 100% sure, but it'll be either here or on uh, the other channel for UNI Esports, which should be in, uh, in the description somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Let me add Overwatch Team White. Okay. Um, it does not appear to be showing up for Overwatch Team White, so we might have to pass on an interview for today. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, no, that was a that was a very good series. Definitely both teams showed up. And they, they played their hardest. They played their darndest. And it looks like today the that morning side just having to play a bit harder there and get the the W. But not to discourage Team White there, they definitely played their heart out, and I I think they definitely have a potential to go 
uh, pretty far here this season. They they definitely show a lot of promise. I, I think that they'll eventually kind of flower up here into some uh, pretty darn good Overwatch players in the future. <laughs> well, I had a good time watching them, and I had a great time casting for them. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So I would I would hope that they get yeah. even better, but hoping to see them uh, more this season. See how they've been, they've improved and and all that. I'm very excited to see. But yeah, we that do might be it for that. Oh yeah, we do in uh, half an hour. We do have Overwatch. Yep. You and I purple playing. Yeah, so purple. if anybody's interested in that, uh, stick around. If mm -hmm. we're keeping the stream up, I don't know if we are, or come back at eight. Uh, and yeah. We can watch you and I purple play. That'll be fun. Well, I think that's going to be it for this stream. So thank you, everybody, for coming out and enjoying and watching the stream and everything. We appreciate you so, so very much. Uh, your support means the world. And if you want to support us even more, go down to the description, check out the merch. Um, like you said earlier, make sure you're at Christmas gift as we are kind of getting into the, the holiday season here. I mean, I guess it is October, but you know. I got a Halloween gift. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> but go down there, check it out. There's some awesome stuff. You won't regret it. I promise. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. So thanks, thanks everybody for, for coming out. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day.